she's excited after that point because A, she hits a tremendous forehand on the run, and B, she knows that Moresmo's starting to play better. And took a little something out of her friend Layton's book. Come on. Ouch. Marismo clearly just not comfortable in anything she tries to do tonight. I just think a lot of this is a lack of play throughout the entire year. Just has never really had the chance to get anything going. To make an impact this year the way she did last year and getting to two Grand Slam semifinals. She has won one tournament this year in Warsaw where Venus Williams retired in the third set. Two finals, the Paris Indoors and the Italian. But this is only her 10th tournament of the year. Characteristic miss there from Kleisters. <coughs> Two break points saved. Resmo stands out wide. The majority of the time she's going to hit out wide. But when, when it goes in and when it's hard and flat, it's a tough one to handle. Christ, or rather, Moresmo hangs on. And moves into a 2-1 lead in the second, still on serve. Kim Kleister's favorite shot of this match. Peter, you mentioned earlier that Kim Kleister's in this tournament is only in the second round of doubles. So if she were to win this match tonight and get through to the finals of the doubles and singles, she's got seven more matches to play in the next well, three days. Well, you know that if she wins tonight, she's not going to be playing a doubles match during the day tomorrow. With the women's semifinals tomorrow night scheduled for tomorrow night, Friday night, there's no way she's playing doubles before Sunday. Well, no, so surely she'll play doubles tonight. Don't you think? I think that's going to be a little rough, but we'll, we'll see what they do with the scheduling. I'm Kim Kleisters, and I'm about to play a semifinals of a U.S. Open on Friday night. I don't know if at 10 o'clock 
Thursday night, I want to go out on the court and play a women's doubles match. And she may do it, but that well, would be impressive. Gotta, she's either got to play tonight or tomorrow night, or they're going to tell her you have to withdraw. Come on, we have a tournament to play here. Two all. And with Moresmo's serve picking up, I don't want to jump the gun too early here. Good point. And Peter, the sun hasn't been out for weeks. How does she, how's Moresmo keeping that tan? Has it really been months? All right, it's been days. <laughs> Did you know it? Yeah, you knew it. <laughs> yeah, just showing her defensive abilities. You could see Moresmo unsure about those overheads. And when you've got Kim Kleisters back there, who has that capability of playing great defense. You need to be able to snap them off. And out of the blue, Moresmo, who, who was in control of this game, is back at 30 all feel for Amelie Moresmo in her present physical condition. So difficult for an attacking player to compete if they don't have that, that just pizzazz in their body, the, the spring in their step. That's a downer for her. Up 30 love. 30 love has the point on her racket. Now turns around two more points. Double faults. And it's break point. And Kim Kleister's making the long run. telling all here at Arthur Ashe Stadium that she is in command. Up a set and a break. <laughs> Amelie Moresmo, a real job on her hands. Presters up 3-2 with a break in the second. And that return's just not going to get it done. Especially when you're running a, up against a buzzsaw like Kim Kleisters, who's complete business out here. Is showing no signs of letting up. Very confident on her own serve. Resmo out of sorts and feeling a lot of pressure, feeling that she has to be so good to win points against Kim Kleisters because Kleisters runs so many balls down. It makes you feel like you have to play better than maybe you can. Moresmo feels she has to play a point that well. 
and have to take control of the point that early, which she did right there with that backhand return that allowed her to get into net. Sailing along, first serve percentage 87% this set. They were having no problems whatever holding serve. Just not finding the lines enough. Doesn't have the confidence to go for the lines, it seems, and anything down the middle of the court it just does not bother this woman. <laughs> and she has to hit the lines like she did with that forehand that allowed her to get in and hit the volley. But Peter, you gotta remember, when the draw came out for this tournament, we saw Venus Williams in there as the number four seed. And she hadn't played since Wimbledon, and you had to wonder whether she was going to play here. And what happened was she didn't, and she pulled out. Oh. Emily Moresmo at, at the number five seed, you had to feel sorry for because she really should have been seated fourth in, in that position in the draw. Had she obviously been seated fourth, she wouldn't have met a Kleisters or an NNR Dan or Davenport Until before the, the semis. semis. Yeah, when she would have gotten clocked. <laughs> All right. Well, it would have given her another match to, to play some more tennis because she hasn't played a ton of tennis. Oh, you're such a diplomat. Never thought about the foreign service. Yeah, that's my next job. George and Tony need a few good men. Moresmo <laughs> with that service winner. Hold serve, but she is clinging on to hope. Kleister's yeah. up 4-3. seems that when players are having their struggles on the court, their old, the, the old nemesis comes back and the shots that, that you've historically struggled with seem to haunt you most. Very early in her career, I always said that Emily Moresmo covered That's over the ball too much on her forehand, didn't finish her shot. And in the last few years, she's changed that and she's hit through the ball. But tonight, we're seeing her fall into that same pattern. Forced errors from Kim Kleister tonight. Only 12 so far against 12 winners. Whereas, on the other hand, 29. 